Hey guys and welcome to Smart Home Things. Uh, today I will show you how to install uh, this configuration plugin. It basically allows you to configure all your Homebridge things. Uh, it has your QR code, it has your statuses, it has your config file, it has your accessories, your plugins and your log files. Uh, you can customize everything, it just works. Installing plugins with it is pretty easy. So uh, let's let's start. Okay, setup is easy. Step one, connect to your Raspberry. Okay, great. Step two, uh, paste uh, this installation command uh, for the Homebridge config plugin. Okay, great, it's installed. And now we have to do prerequisites. Uh, this is also easy. We need to change two things. So uh, the first thing is we need to add uh, password sudo. Uh, basically this allows uh, the, the plugin to use sudo commands. This will be helpful. Okay, so to do that, uh, just sudo nano and this command. Uh, all commands will be available in the description, so don't worry, you will, you will not have to go through the whole internet to find this. So uh, paste this. Ctrl X and Y to save. Great, we are done with the first file. Now we have to do the second file. So copy this. Uh, and again, sudo nano paste enter. And now we have to enable something called insecure mode. Uh, this mode allows you to uh, access your accessories from uh, the web service. Okay, so again, Ctrl X, Y, and Enter, and we are done with pretty much the prerequisites. Okay, now we have to create the config.json file. Uh, because we don't have that yet, uh, this is the same installation as in the previous movie. Okay, so to do that, we have to go to the configuration directory. So, uh, cd var homebridge, okay, we are in the... Uh, we are in the folder, so now let's create it. So sudo nano config.json. Okay, enter. And now, for your convenience, I created this file. Don't worry, it will be in the description. So copy that, paste it, control X, yes, and enter. And now, basically, the easiest way reboot that. So sudo reboot now. Okay, let's wait a minute or two for the system to reboot. Okay, so now let's log in. So go to your Raspberry uh, address colon 8080, press enter, and you are greeted with this login page. So the default uh, credentials are admin admin, you can change everything uh, with this uh, great graphical interface. So uh, we have the QR code, we have the status, services running, uptimes, CPU. Uh, you will get also temperature on your Raspberry. Uh, and here we can see uh, your plugins. So now we have only configuration uh, UI plugins. So this is, uh, this is here. You have the settings for it. You can change everything uh, in the uh, in the graphic UI. Uh, then you have the config file. You can save it, restore it, copy it, copy it. Everything pretty much works. Uh, and you have your accessories. Currently, this configuration is empty, so you have no accessories at all. Uh, one thing to remember: as we have no accessories, uh, we don't have accessories part of the config.json uh, uh, file. So please remember if you had already a config.json, just add this platforms part for the config. Okay, uh, so also we can look through the logs. We have all the uh, logs from our Homebridge service. Uh, we have the user management we can reboot uh, the uh, service. Let, let's try that. Restarting Homebridge. So this took a moment, but uh, it works. 
Okay, great. So uh, thank you for watching uh, this short video today. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Uh, and also, if you haven't watched my previous video where I installed Homebridge, then uh, please go watch that because it, it basically tells you how to install uh, Homebridge and then uh, use this tutorial to enable the graphical configuration utility. So thank you again uh, and see you later. Bye.